Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at a rare game on the Nintendo 64 known as Blast Corps. Uh, I think this came out around 97, 98. I believe it's one of their most uh, popular titles on the on the 64. So let's just uh, start it up. Let's go. Off. Not had much chance to play this through, so we're going to start a new game. And we're off. Clear path to carry it on each main level. Come on. Alright, well this is the world view. Can't seem to do anything on this, so just press the A, the blue button. Remove all obstacles from the danger zone. It's quite a good looking uh, N64 title. The backgrounds. You can do this. Hang on. This I'll carry his path. Right, well. Using the. Uh, just, uh, thumbstick rotates you left and right. Oh my god, the destruction of this building is essential. Now, yeah, flashing arrows means it stands in the carrier's path. He's green to red, okay. Well, let's accelerate. Oh, I'm through. Yeah, this is quite a battle again. It's fun, I might be a little surprise or two. So, some of these aren't essential. Apparently we can now change vehicles. Oh, I'm out. And I'm through. Well, that was straightforward enough. Go on, if that means to restart or exit. Should probably be the next level, yes it is. So now you get a choice after that. That's some sort of robot, some sort of hover thingy. Let's have a look at this one. So A button going to that is thrusters. Fly over B, which is green. I think we can manage that. Six minutes to destroy one building. I am sure I can manage that. Oh, 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 only this destroyed three quarters of it. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, basically, this is pretty much what the entire game is like. You know, you, you get set time limits uh, to do things like destroy buildings, clear paths for the carrier, uh, disarm bombs, stuff like that. I mean, what I've all the time to see all the vehicles is there's, there's like a, a racing car type one. Uh, I've already seen the bulldozer, a truck, and there's also another big robot, I think. Well, only two more buildings. I'll see if I can get through this quickly enough. Well, yeah, graphics wise, I mean, it, it does look the business for an N64 game. If you look at some of the other stuff like uh, Body Harvest, which I'm going to do a video of at some point, it, that one just looked horrendous. But this one, you know, uh, simple textures, but the widespread out and, and distance away enough that they don't look too ugly. Let's see if we can get another one in. Uh, Simeon Akers. That's got the robot on, I think. Danger zone. I mean, story-wise, probably best comparing this to. Uh, it's a Thunderbird. <laughs> this is an you trigger remotely as you drive by. Guidance acknowledges radiation dispersal. Okay, that's fair enough, I suppose. Come on, smash, smash, smash. I'm on a roll now. Oh, that path cleared. You're just trying to impress me. Oh, I missed the robot. It was over in that corner. Damn. Oh yeah, yeah. Points for saving people. Lovely. I was meaning to hit the start. I was hoping for. Uh... Oh damn it! Where's that ruddy van? There was a robot knocking around here somewhere. Oh damn guys, I'm afraid we're not going to get time to uh, to see the old robot, we're almost out of time. But yeah, I mean, overall it's a, it's a pretty fun game. I mean, it, it only cost me a, a couple of quid on eBay, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> it can roll through buildings. Just run up. This will be uh, something to finish on, I reckon. Bush, no. <laughs> yeah, I say cheap enough game. You can get it on eBay for just a couple of quid, and, and I'd well recommend it. And uh, as always, I'll uh, do my best to post uh, another video soon. <laughs>